Hey, welcome back. You're just in time. A buddy of mine just dropped off a project. He wants me to get welded up for tomorrow. And that's just what we're about to do. It's a simple handrail for a little set of stairs he's working on. And instead of me taking time to go over there and get all the dimensions and measurements, he's taking time to scale it exactly on this sheet. I don't know if you can really see that, but he's got the steps set up. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to weld up a simple one-by-one one railing. So it's just like any other project. The first thing we've got to do is get all our angles and dimensions. And since he's already taken time to mark this thing out, it's real easy for me to get these angles. We just use our speed square, set it up on there, and 32 degrees. Well, 32 and a half degrees. And you may already know, I get all my decorative metal from King Architectural Metals at kingmetals.com. But you may not know, they also supply dimensional steel as well. In fact, we just recently received a pretty good order from King Metals. And I think I see what we need right there. Yep, that inch and a half by inch and a half, that's what we need. So you know the drill. First thing we gotta do is get this saw set up, start cutting our metal. Alright, so I've taken time to make a list of all the parts we need. We're gonna cut this square along first, and then we'll catch these other two. Alright, so we've got our angle set up. We've pulled our measurement right here. Let's get this locked in and start cutting. about having a one-to-one -one template like that is we can lay this right on there and see if it's going to fit. So this is our first piece. It's got the square bottom with the angle on the top. We'll just lay it out here. Then we'll go cut those other two. Pulling these next two measurements is really easy. We just took the long point and pulled to the short. Right there. So we'll do it again. That's got it. Yep. Having a life-size drawing like this really makes a difference. It makes it easy as can be. Now we'll just drill out these mounting holes. We're going to uh, use 3 8 carriage bolts to mount this thing. It should give us a little impression. Yep, you can see it there. So now we're going to have to reverse that little divot or this is just gonna slide right off the top of it. So I don't know if you can see that, but we've got this little divot where we started to drill. I'm just gonna take this punch, set it on there like that. That's all there is to it. Got our two uprights drilled, and we've got four caps cut. Let's get these welded on. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is tack these on. Let's 
All right, there you go. Got them all capped off. Let's get them welded up. All right, as I get set up in there, I'm gonna use this little angle finder to make sure we're dead on with this. Okay, we calibrated this out there on our template. Now we're just making sure everything's lined up. We'll tack this off before we weld it up. Since we have that one-to-one -one template, let's go ahead and use it. Double check this thing before we weld it off. Yeah, I know I probably don't even need to do this, but what the heck, we've got it. Set it on here. Make sure we're all lined up. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Now we'll just touch this thing up a little bit. Well, one handrail in a hurry. So I think you can see how handy that is making yourself a one-to-one -one template. Next time you want to make yourself a handrail in a hurry, I recommend doing something like this. Line it right up. This looks like it'll work great. Yep, this is gonna fit just fine. Right on, I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Be sure to come see me again next week. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next time.